poem is called Damaged Goods. I guess you're just damaged goods. All illusions of us, gently wrestling, naked in between sheets, seize instantly and succumb to a thunderous crash. Shay, Ronald, Ken, Dave, Ollie, or was it Scott? Other guy whose name I can't remember but had drunken sex with. Oh yeah, let's not forget Shay again, or that guy who wrote me such a lovely text only to end it with the words, I guess you're just damaged goods. This was his response to my previous text in which I had just confessed that in reality, I was probably likely to have a string of lovers and not really have a husband or a long-term partner. Maybe be like Madonna and have me a string of toy boys in their 20s when I'm old enough to be their grandmother. I was a firm believer in the belief that it is unnatural for men and women to live together. Always prayed that one day I would suddenly wake up a lesbian. But no. Somehow had to give myself secret interventions and swear never to get drunk again and have to do the walk of shame from a guy's house wearing a sparkly black dress shimmering in the early morning sun as parents walk their children to school whilst my mascara is smudged, burning around my eyes and my bum practically hanging out for the small children to see. Shoes dangling from my right hand with me walking barefoot reminiscing on a similar scene in the dark of London streets where a man shouts across the road You women! What can you do? Don't cook? Or clean? All you're good for is fucking! I guess you're just damaged goods. You see, his mixed race, or was it light skin? Plays rugby, or used to, is hench. Nice body. Either dad or mum, maybe even both parents are Nigerian. All the girls throw themselves at him, apparently. The first time I met him, he was throwing himself at girls. Begged my friend not to go home the next day. Promised to pay for a taxi to take her back. One has to mention that... We were in Loughborough, in the Midlands, a three hour long journey away from my friend's house who had come to visit me for the holiday, for the weekend. But he still insisted that they leave the party together, begging for sex. Went to three more girls in the same hour. I guess you're just damaged goods. The words worm their way in again. Can you believe this? Lazy, slumber, inhibiting, passion, might be mistaking it for anger convulsing, almost a gentle resolve, scanty reminiscence, female of a rebellious nature, debugging, unraveling, human fabrications, defying fathers, brothers, husbands, Frida Kahlo, Caroline Duffy, Tandiwe, San Eliso, Michelle. The woman exiled from high society whose incrimination was to wear trousers in public at a time when every other woman was wearing a dress. Yubelife, Abigail. How can I admit that I admired you most for what the rest scolded you for? Sacred altars to honour the gods of love, ritual, sin, fornication, reproduction, in the dark of the night, light of day, tightly closed doors, toe curling, back arching, awkwardness, in the name of Aphrodite, or was it Venus, sing, heaven, Dave, Vlad, Ollie, Ken, Ronald, Richard, no, Richard was a cutie, we're a toy boy. Wait, how did I even get here? Oh yeah, dear boys, 
I have slept with. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that my value as a living being on planet Earth was precisely relative to the number of different penises I had allowed to penetrate my vagina. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.